Hello Ed Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another exciting and informative video on our YouTube channel. If you are joining us for the first time, I want to thank you for watching. In this episode, we shall be looking on how the country of Kenya has entangled itself with regards to trade relationships amongst major economic powers like China and the United States and amongst European Union as well. In this episode, I will be able to discuss this particular economic trajectory with regards to Kenya. In this episode, I will be able to look at the specifics and why Kenya should be able to navigate this relationship and business partnership in a careful way. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. But before you jump into the comment section, I will encourage you to watch this video to the end for clarity and better understanding. Kenya's much anticipated presidential election recently concluded with the Supreme Court confirming President William Ruto's victory. In the run-up to this close contest, Kenya's political discourse was for once focused on economic and policy concern. As the new government takes up the reign of administration, trade will future in the policy solution to ongoing challenges like the rising unemployment rates in Kenya, Kenya's large public sector debt, concerns around the equitable taxation, and the residual effects of global shocks such as the coronavirus pandemic and the Russian-Ukrainian war. In charting the direction of the country's post-election economic policy, trade will be important in various ways, its volume, bridging Kenya's trade deficit, and the country's external relations. Moving ahead, a cursory look at Kenya's international trade reveals some striking patterns. If you consider this, the country's total merchandise trade volume in 2020 amounted to over 21 billion US dollars or 21% of the country's GDP. More than 16% of this total is from the trade with China, the country's top trading partner, followed by the European Union over 2.9 billion, India at over 1.8 billion, and the United Arab Emirates looking at just over 1.2 billion, the United States nearly 1.1 billion in Kenya's fifth largest trade partner. Other major economic partners include Uganda and Tanzania, both in East Africa. Those trade relationships with major external partners will shape the new Kenyan government's policy objectives, especially around increasing the productivity of agricultural manufacturing and also small businesses. In looking at different areas, Kenya's international trade is also an area where great powers competition could play out. The country's main export to the United States in 2019 were fully diversified and included woven apparel, so to point out, Nick's apparel as well, edible fruits, nuts and ornaments, slugs and ash, and other coffee and tea and spices, looking at billions of US dollars. This trade was enabled in large part by the African Growth and Opportunity Act, the Preferential Market Access Agreement for countries south of the Sahara. Meanwhile, Kenya's imported aircraft over 59 million, so to point out, plastics over 58 million dollars, machinery just over 41 million, and series and from the United States in terms of goods imported. In other areas as well, there are ongoing discussions between the United States and Kenya for a free trade agreement as Kenya seeks to become a manufacturing hub for United States companies looking to diversify or relocate out of China. In the interim, two countries signed the US-Kenyan Strategic Trade and Investment Partnership known as STIP as of July of this year, an agreement that identifies areas around which to develop an ambitious roadmap for enhanced cooperation with goals of negotiating high standard communications commitment in order to achieve economically meaningful outcomes. The initial areas of collaboration includes agriculture, digital trade, micro, small and medium enterprise supporting the participation of women, youths and others in trade, collaboration on standard setting and trade facilitation and customs procedures. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos with your different network. The United States Kenyan Steep was launched against the backdrop of China's rapidly rising trade relationship with Kenya. Since 2000, China's Kenya trade has grown nearly 30-fold from just over 106 million US dollars to over 3.5 billion in 2020 based on statistics. As those trade volumes have grown, so has Kenya's trade deficit 
the country's total trade deficit as of 2020 stands at around 9.9 .9 billion US dollars, and China, just over 3.3 billion, accounts for about one third of this imbalance. To look at this, between 2015 and 2019, for instance, Kenya's main export to China were titanium and zirconium, oil, and also concentrated metals vegetable, textile, fibers, and petroleum, oil, so to point out, among others, its major imports are electrical machinery and equipment. Looking at 19% of this particular equipment, the nuclear reactors, boilers, and also machinery, mechanical appliances, parts, and iron ore sheets and plastics. In looking at this different area, deficit is a salient topic that features regularly in diplomatic agreements between two countries. Indeed, it was one of the announcements at the 2021 Forum on China-African Cooperation. In January of this year, China had Kenya also signed six bilateral trade agreements that focus on removing tariffs and other trade non-trade barriers. Those agreements promised access to China's large market for Kenyan exporters and included protocol to facilitate bilateral trade, especially export of avocado, aquatic products. In as of August of this year, Kenya became the first African country to export fresh avocado to the country of China. Beyond the United States and China, Kenya has ongoing and strong-growing trade relationships with other major countries. The United Arab Emirates imports refined petroleum, tea and meat from Kenya. As of July this year, the United Arab Emirates and Kenya announced the start of trade negotiations to initiate a comprehensive economic partnership agreement that aims to reduce trade barriers between the two countries. With this agreement, the United Arab Emirates would invest in Kenya's vital economic sector, such as tourism, agriculture, and boost non-oil trade and investment. Kenya also signed an economic partnership agreement with the United Kingdom as of December of 2020. So to point out, the agreement provided quota-free, duty-free market, access for all Kenyan products, including manufacturing and processed products as well. The agreement also guaranteed tariff-free access to Kenya's market for United Kingdom's products, supplies of machinery, electronic and technical equipment, among others. If you consider Kenyan position within the continent of Africa, Kenya is a critical actor driving some aspect of regional integration. With its 2021 GDP of just about 110 billion US dollars, it is the largest economic and major driver of rapid integration in East African community, the EAC. It is no surprise, therefore, that Kenya ranked second on regional integration in Africa. The EAC ranks highest in the African Regional Integration Index, with the free movement of people in most robust dimension. As Afrobarometer survey on East African integration shows that over 52% of Kenyans approve of the free movement of goods, services and labor. However, there is still a gap in public awareness and support for this particular integration. If you consider Kenya's transformation in different ways, operating with other international partners from the Middle East to China, the United States and cooperation within the European Union and the United Kingdom as well, Kenya should navigate this particular relationship with care. Kenya's notable progress in securing regional and international trade deals is positioning the country as an important trading economy. It will be crucial for Kenya to balance its overlapping and complicated relationship with the great powers, its trade ties with neighbors in the European Union, in EAC, and its interest in advancing the African continental free trade area. As Kenya's new president takes office, trade policy will be at the heart of the country's plan to close its trade deficit, generating jobs, increase public revenue, and robust productivity. If you are new to Ed Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos with your different network. Hopefully, we've been able to explain to you the strategic position that the country of Kenya found itself in considering its competitive shape and in terms of business and the growth trajectory that the country of Kenya is pursuing at the moment. But in terms of this different relationship as we've analyzed, give Kenya an upper hand as well. However, the complexity could affect its growth and in making sure that it meets the needs of its different partners. We want to thank you for watching. Let us know if your country is one of those countries that Kenya is doing business with or you're using products from the country of Kenya. And also, let us know what you think with regards to how Kenya has entangled itself with regards to global trade and if this is going to be in the favor of the Kenyan people and the Kenyan economy. 
we all shall be looking on how this will progress in driving the Kenyan economy as it's one of the large economy in East Africa. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, we will encourage you to subscribe, share our videos and check other informative videos on our YouTube channel. We are looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you.